the first place to listen to the hottest K-pop, K-popping with DJ Isaac. Ugly truth. It's time for me and my guests to give you some advice and a second opinion or a third opinion with our ugly truth. And we have Alexander and Colin in the studio. Hi. Hi, Hi. everyone. Hello. All right. Well, Colin, you were not feeling too good last week. So are you better? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. And I'm really terribly sorry about uh, missing the first radio. It's okay. It's okay as long as yeah. you're feeling and very good. And even though good. I might make some mistakes, uh, please be kind to me. <laughs> Well, uh, if you guys remember, when we had her team very good in the studio, uh, Kuan told us that she's never lived abroad. I know, right? Uh, she just studied English because she loved English. But English is so good. It's so good. good. Wow. <laughs> so uh, that's why we decided to bring her on board to be a part of the K-pop and family. So uh, just remember that her English is a learned uh, English. So uh, don't worry, though. She has perfect uh, pronunciation. Now, Alexander, it's back for week two. Yay. And so how was your week last week? You know, uh, what was it like after being on the show? I couldn't wait to come back. You know, <laughs> I want to share all this honest, naked truth <laughs> opinion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I think the balance is going to add up uh, because Kuhn is very young. Ah. Does it mean I'm old? No. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just she's really young. Okay. Um, but I feel that it's going to balance out because honestly, a lot of our listeners are Kuhn's age. Yeah, right. And oh. so when they send in messages, uh, honestly, for, in the past, it was kind of hard for me and my other guests mm. to relate because mm -hmm. it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> Generations. <laughs> since yeah. I went through that, that feeling or that you know that sense of uneasiness mm -hmm. and so i think cool being on this the team is going to really help kind of balance it out because she's probably going to be going through a lot of the things that our listeners yeah <laughs> hey. all right well for our ugly truth uh, there's a second part to our ugly truth which is ask anything so you can ask us literally anything <laughs> um what Kuhn's favorite color is <laughs> um what is alexander's favorite food you know that kind of stuff it can be Random, any facts that you want to ask us. So continue to send those in as well. Uh, we're going to be reading our first story, and we're going to toss it over to Kuan today for the first story. Uh, it's from Noah from Morocco. So take it away. Uh, I've been to another country for a short exchange program recently. I met someone there, and it was amazing the time it lasted. Less than three days. Mm -hmm. He told me that we have a special bond, and I think he's right. I usually don't like people the fast, but it's amazing. He tried to keep in touch when I went back, but it didn't work because it didn't make any effort. I really, do, I really don't like being friends with guys I like. Ew. Also, I'm even more awkward on SNS than in real life because I'm too self-conscious. Huh? I think too much before saying anything, so I end up not saying much, and I don't like it. I feel like we could have had interesting discussions. What do you think? Is it better to keep in touch or forget about it? I want your love. <laughs> I don't want to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, uh, again, that was from uh, Morocco. Noah sent this mm. in. And uh, we, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Aw. But oh. This, is, this is a unique thing. Being awkward on SNS. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that people tend to be more comfortable right, know, right? on right, SNS? Right. right. Because you can't see the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I want to write what I want to write. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, cool. I want to ask you, since you were the one that read the the story, mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts? Um, I think the reason why she's worrying about something to talk with him mm -hmm. is because uh, they don't know each other that well. Yeah, that well. Mm. Uh, I mean, she should have open mind mm -hmm. and tell her stories to him. Okay. So yeah, you feel so that, that... So that they can share some common things. Okay. Well, it's a really short encounter. I know, right? Three days only. But 
But if we want to go deeper, Shakespeare, <gasps> Romeo and Juliet, mm. their actual love story was in the span of less than two weeks. Right. Really? Yeah. It's I a really short love story and a very dramatic one. I know, right? <gasps> um, but love at first sight or an attraction to somebody mm -hmm. that strong, I think, is capable. Now, Cole, and I know that you've probably spent more time practicing and being a mm -hmm. trainee and then, you know, being a rookie. Yeah. So you've been limited to be able to feel these feelings. But uh, even more in like junior high or maybe early years of high school, you know, that boy crush, first crush, first love, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Did you have any of those? Um, Not yet. Because, not yet. Yeah, because I, I have to prepare for our album. Okay. And um, I have to be with my members, only members. Ah. I can't go to school very often. Oh. Okay, okay. So first real crush has not happened yet. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be soon, don't worry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once we see this it's going to come Ooh. hard too. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Alexander, let's go back. For you, uh -huh. can you remember that first big crush? That burst like, <gasps> wow. It's really hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, to be honest. But yeah, I think it was during... Wow, it was really long, long, long ago. <laughs> More than 10 years. Oh, that's <laughs> not that long ago! <laughs> really? Yeah. What about you? Do you remember yours? <laughs> I do! I do remember my first crush. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How 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 is it? It was awkward! <laughs> <laughs> Why? It was awkward. Okay. It was confusing, right? It is! Uh -oh. Um... I liked a guy at school. He was a uh, high schooler. I was junior high. Oh, high oh, school. High That's later than I thought. So, no, it was junior high for me. Okay. So, junior high. Um, he, I was on student council, and so was he. But he was on high school student council. I was on our junior high student mm. council. So, whenever we had student council meetings, we all met up together. Uh -huh. Because our school was a very small school. Um... <laughs> I remember calling his house because we didn't have cell phones back then. I didn't have pagers back then either. So I actually had to call his house. And I was like, yeah. So I was like, hi, so-and-so there. And then he's like, yeah, sure. Uh, my ask was calling. I was just like, uh, never mind. And oh. Then, oh. Awkward. Oh, why? But that's true. I mean, you well, don't know what to do, right? I don't know what to say if he picks up the phone, and then I don't want to say who I am. Uh, right, right, right. Because he's going to know if I hang up who I am. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't say Oh, anything. that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. Yes, I was in junior for me, high. I'm different for me, like, unlike Noah. Noah mm -hmm. I mean, I really try to approach people once I'm, like, interested. I want to know more about the person. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm very extrovert, I guess. Okay. Well, this was a really short meeting. So, I mean, I think that's probably why Noah's really thinking about, pondering yeah. at all, if the, she should continue this on. Um, but long distance. Do yeah, you, long do you distance. Think? I, I don't believe personally. I don't think long distance. Mm, love, but love. keeping in touch is the most important thing, I think. As a friend, but she doesn't want to be friends. Yeah, but she doesn't uh -huh. want to be friends. Uh -huh. But long distance. Okay, I want to ask, uh, since Kuhn is a little bit on the younger side, she still yeah. has more dreams and more, uh -huh. more hope. positive yeah, more, <laughs> hope. More, hope. <laughs> more hope in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kuhn, what do you think about long distance relationships? Mm. Do you think they can work? Sure. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Wait till your heart get crushed. <laughs> oh my God, sound like if I really oh. like him. Okay. Oh. Aww. It's true. Once you, but I mean, in a realistic <laughs> way, soon you realize. So, Alexander, very... what do you think? Honestly, long distance relationships, do you think they work or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I mean, at first, yeah, you, you if you like the person, you try to contact, blah, blah, blah. But at the end, I mean, you could, maybe you could do webcam or, you know, video phone chat, but at the end, you, you can't feel that person. Mm. It's just screen and your phone or your computer and. You naturally give up. Oh. How sad. Are you talking from experience? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tried. I mean, I, I wanted to, you know, I'm a desperate young boy who is also, who wants to have a relationship, okay. of course. But 
Long distance never works. Okay. Because, I mean, you need time to. I mean, you need to meet the person face to face and spend time together. So mm. I think. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Alexander, you feel that uh, she should probably just forget about it then. I would say it's you can only be friends right now. Okay. Really, <gasps> there's nothing much more. I mean, you, you, you could you could disagree with me. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. you disagree? You think that she should sure, go for sure, it? Sure, sure. Okay. A uh, long distance relationship is. Um, Good enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. But you, but you can't enough. hold hands. Yeah. You can't kiss. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Cohen is is still too young to know. <laughs> okay. Okay. That. Okay. But but I feel that uh, both side of the stories could work if the guy in mm -hmm. question. Is on the same level as our listener and cool. Mm -hmm. If they're in the same mentality, I think this can work. Yeah. Mm. But if our listener uh, Noah and the, the person, yeah, the guy in question, are completely different. So, like Alexander and Cool, if they're like you two, where you mm -hmm. complete your idea of a relationship is completely different, I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so it looks like that Kuhn says, go for it, Noah. Uh, Alexander says, it's a long-distance relationship. Uh, think about it again. Mm -hmm. Um, can I be in between? No, but this is why, this is why I say in between. Number one, you don't know that much about this person yet. I'm yeah. all down for dating on the first day. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. if, let's say, I meet a guy and I think that, you know, we're, we click. I can start telling people, yeah, I think, you know... He's my significant other. I think we can really make this work. And we'll have the time in between to fight and make up and, you know, mm -hmm. get to know each other. Mm -hmm. But right now, you don't have that experience. So yeah. I say keep in touch, get to know him, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do some SNS spying, <laughs> stalk a little bit. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram. Um, yeah, SNS stalking is is considered, I think, a really good thing to do uh -huh, yeah. to know in the more. beginning of the relationship because you get to know that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you get to know how they party, you get to know what they're interested in, and mm -hmm. you get to see their personality a little bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think if you see that, and then you still have these strong feelings for that person, then go for it. Go for it. Yeah. But if not, uh, yeah. <sighs> if you can't stay friends, yeah. yeah then I think but I have a feeling that the reason why Noah can't stay friends is because there's chemistry there mm. and if there's chemistry there then I fall back with Alexander I want your love <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be because <laughs> it is hard to contain mm. yeah that chemistry yeah mm. I'm trying to keep this as PG-13 as possible <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean we should make one night session <laughs> I know we should make this a, a night show wow we're getting a lot of messages okay so, uh, we've got actually some of our listeners uh, dropping by. Richie saying about long distance relationships, they honestly never work out. Amen. <laughs> I've witnessed it happen myself. Trust me. Oh, cool. He's getting like heartbroken right now listening to all of this. Oh, sad. Oh. Okay. So, for Ask Anything, so you guys can ask literally anything. Uh, Noah, if you're listening today, uh, if you want some more help mm -hmm. uh, if you want some more second opinions you can ask us uh also uh for those of you who want to send in more ugly truths like this you can continue to send those in in the meantime we're going to take a listen i think our staff is trying to tell noah something uh solutions is singing do it and we'll see you guys after this with our <laughs> next story
We've been getting a lot of messages for. Oh, it looks like Alexander is not popular anymore. We're getting a lot of cool oh. messages. <laughs> Everybody's complimenting how cool is just so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, at that age, everybody's cute. Anyways, <laughs> uh, moving on uh, to our next story. Alexander, could you take over? Since it's from Portugal, I'm going to let you take over. Yeah, it's from Joao from Portugal. Hi, guys. I'm almost 25 years old and I'm still looking for my first job. My family is pressuring me to get a job. But the thing is, I'm very shy and I'm not good at doing anything. The only thing I'm good at is supporting K-pop girl groups. Wow. Especially very good. Wow. Wow. I even told to my father I want to go to Korea and do something for very good. Be their fan camera or something. Wow. wow. What do I do? Wow. Come to Korea! Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Come to Korea. <gasps> so good. Ooh. Um, getting a job. Uh, you know what? Honestly, these days I think not getting a typical job, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but employing yourself is a lot easier. Mm-hmm. There's so many things that you could do. Right? And I think 25, it's too, he's still young. No. No? I can feel the pressure. <gasps> oh, really? I know. I can, I can <clears throat> understand why he's feeling the pressure, though. Mm. Okay. I can understand. Mm. But I think try everything. Do internships. You don't, you don't need a proper job yet, do you? I don't know. Well, um, both of you are not doing the proper job. Or that's could, a problem. Could, that's considered a problem. proper job. Um, now I know that Kuhn, your mom is a teacher. So what was her? <gasps> really? What was what was her response when you said you were going to be a singer? Um, uh, she, uh, <laughs> mm, totally disagreed. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> just, she totally disagreed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, but um, uh, but some. When I get to the audition and when I get succeed mm-hmm. on such uh, what is it? When you pass the audition. Oh uh, yeah, right, right, right. When when I pass the audition, my mother so happy. Yeah, my mother was yeah, so happy. Yeah, go for it, go for it. That's true. Mom's always like mm-hmm. that. Mm. At first, ah, uh, no, no, you cannot. Uh. Yeah, right. And then when you succeed, I'm so proud of you. Go, go for it. <laughs> oh, but she said she. Uh, but uh, I have to do the. English. Ah. I have to study English. Oh, okay, so that was fair. her ultimatum that yeah, you right, have right. to study English um. and I'll let you do it. Okay, so she pretty much naturally she broke a deal with her mom. Yeah. Mm. She kept up her side by studying English. Yeah. And now she's able to be sing- being a singer. So, Alexander, I mean, what about you? Coming from, um, you know, more open background, I know that you didn't, when you first said you were coming to Korea to become a singer, (laughs) what was your parents' uh, reaction? My mom was very worried because of the Korean Mm. culture. She's Korean. So she's like, are you sure you can survive in Mm. this harsh jungle? But then, I mean, they were were positive and said, go for it. You know, you're young. Because back then I was 19 and they were like, just do whatever you want. It's experience. Mm. And the same thing I promised them, I say that I'll go back to college someday. Mm. So now I'm in KU, <laughs> you know, ah. Korea, Korea University. <laughs> and yeah, I'm keeping the promise and wow. I'm still working. Okay. Yeah. But they were positive. They weren't like negative about yeah. Um. Now, I know that uh, for Kuo and your friends have now graduated high school. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 this yeah. year. Uh, yeah, right. This year. <gasps> um, and so uh, you're going into... High school or senior? No, uh, one year later. Okay, one. Oh. Okay, you have one year left. Uh. Okay. Oh, I, can't, <laughs> I can't think that far back. Okay, so she's she's going to be a senior um, mm. soon. Then that means that your friends are now worried about college yeah. and like what they're going to be doing. Um, do you feel a pressure of what am I going to do, or do I need to you know go to college um. or do you feel that pressure? Uh, actually, not yet. Because, not yet. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm in this group mm-hmm. and I'm doing my job. Uh-huh. So, and I earn money. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't think it's it's really um, pressure to me. Okay, yeah. at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, Alexander, what about you? Because I know that you went back to school pretty late. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that friends around you either mm-hmm. are still in the business or they have, you know, quit now and now are doing just, you know, regular nine to five jobs. Yeah. So do you feel this pressure to kind of fit into like a nine to five? I need to pay the bills, do whatever I need yeah. to. The thing is, like, to be honest, you know, our job, 
Mm. It's like we don't have monthly salary. Exactly. We don't have mm. stable pay. So sometimes I get so fed up that I really want to quit and I, I just want to get a regular job. Oh. So I told myself, you know, someday if I really quit, I still need a college de- degree, you know. So I thought, I mean, going to college was good. Okay. Get a degree at least. Mm. But <laughs> so far, I'm still here. <laughs> but a lot of my friends are worried about, you know, getting a job too because, you know, they have to pay the rent mm. and... You know, they can't always be so dependent on their parents. So I get the idea why they have pressure from their family. The reason why I'm saying that getting a job these days is a lot easier is right now, one thing that's pretty big in the U.S. is food trucks. Oh, Whoa. yay. Whoa. And uh, food trucks are pretty much an upgraded version of street food here mm-hmm. in Asia. So in Hong Kong, you know, a lot of other Asian countries, even Japan, Korea, Mm -hmm. street food is very popular. Yep. (gasps) Being able to have, you know, tteokbokki or fish cakes or broth or food or noodles, anything on the street is street vendors. But in the States, since we don't have that, food trucks have become very popular. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying that if you have a talent for something, I think it's a lot easier to find a job Mm -hmm. Um, like you were saying to come to Korea and to do something for very good like be a fan camera this Mm -hmm. has also become a job for a lot of people Mm -hmm. Um, I know that a lot of people on YouTube have funding Mm -hmm. by having a channel so you can do that too come to Korea why not Um, there's plenty need of English speakers in Korea Mm -hmm. all the time not just in Korea in any Asian countries I feel that there's a huge demand yeah. for mm. English speakers. And I really feel that, I don't know, but usually fans, they know more about which angle oh, people yeah. look through, right? Mm-hmm. So being a camera person, I mean, it would be perfect. I mean, and they do angle. just photo... Um, Photoshop? Yeah, yeah they, they <laughs> for Photoshop. the editing. <laughs> so perfect. They edit it. So good, right? Yeah. Why not? Oh, uh, I mean, go for it. I think that there's plenty of jobs that mm-hmm. you can find. If you're good with a camera, then Go for it too. Hmm. Yeah. If you're good with a camera, I mean, sure. Yeah, you might end up finding a, your first job as being in the in this field too. You know. Yeah. No. You might end up coming to Korea and becoming a professional photographer. Yeah. You never know. Do it. Um, <laughs> but one thing that I've always learned is, especially because I'm a fan girl too, and it continues on, and I continue to be a very proud fan girl of K-pop groups. Really. Um, you never know where it's gonna lead you. I I was a fangirl of HOT and Oh really? Here I am. So fangirls and fanboys, trust me, it takes you somewhere. So Mm -hmm. maybe using that passion for loving very good could help. (laughs) You never know. You might become their like official overseas PR manager. Yeah. Mm. Dream big. Manager. (laughs) Yeah. Anything can happen. Mm. Um if you're good at sales, party planners. Wedding mm. planners. PR relationship. PR, you know, anything Event that has planning. to do with people. If you're really good at it, it's great. But it looks like our listener is a little bit shy. So maybe we should give our listeners some points on how to not be as shy. So, Kuhn, uh, how were you to kind of... Were you always a shy person? Were you never a shy person? Are mm, you on the shy? I'm a little bit shy person. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And um, I often i'm often very uh nervous about okay different things yeah different things and new things uh-huh mm-hmm. but i i just want to try that okay so you That's have good. this energy to try yeah okay <laughs> so it does help mm, with sure. the shyness mm. okay that's a solution okay yeah oh. <laughs> having a positive you know the motivation that and even though you're shy you would just want to do it yeah, just uh-huh. try that's everything good. Okay, That's so nice. having the willpower to want to try something yeah. would be helpful. Alexander, have you ever been shy? Me? I'm always shy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Are we talking about the same Alexander? <laughs> yeah, I mean, before I was even more shy, but I mean, the same thing. I am I really, whenever I want to try something, mm. I just go for it. And yeah, sometimes when you're shy even though you're shy when you really want to do something you don't you won't even care about being shy right Natu- mm. naturally it doesn't matter yeah okay. Mm. okay are you shy Nuna? I used to be <laughs> mm. you? yeah <laughs> you? oh really? <laughs> yeah um, I think if some of my um, is that why you hung up the phone? <laughs> yeah I really, no it was uh, when I was younger I think junior high I started kind of coming out of my shell uh-huh. but up until fifth grade I was very shy Ooh. very shy 
um, when I was even younger, I would always sing in the cart, like when I was a baby, mm -hmm. and I would like sing Korean, uh, you know, what Lo are they? Tongyo? Yeah. Uh, child Like the children's songs, song, like full songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would be singing those in the cart, and then someone would be like, oh, what song are you singing? And then I start crying. Oh! <gasps> yeah. Apparently, that's what my mom said. So <laughs> I would be singing in the cart at the shopping mall, and then I would, I would be, someone would come be like, "Oh, you're so pretty. Why? What are you singing?" I'd be like, oh, "Don't touch me. Don't come near <laughs> me." <laughs> but now I talk for a living, so you never know where your life is going to take you. Mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily have to get a nine to five job. Okay, Tang has got some. Uh, some advice for you. One of our loyal listeners, nine to five job from someone who's doing a nine to five job. I would definitely say the most important thing is to do something you enjoy doing. Sometimes mm -hmm. the opportunities come your way. Sometimes you have to find them. But then if you sit on your own living room, uh, nothing is going to just happen. And uh, to not be shy, try attending some kind of speech clubs where you'll get a chance to speak in front of people and overcome your fear. Mm -hmm. If you need more info about these speech clubs, uh, I can help you. Okay. So Tang, one of our listeners is actually reaching out to our listener nice. from Portugal uh, to get some info about speech classes. Those help too. Wow, from mm. Portugal. Obrigado. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you speak Portuguese. No, I learned, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Madison is saying, uh, I'm still looking for a job at an animal hospital because I oh. love animals so much. Whoa. I've been filling in applications and giving them out, but I haven't been getting callbacks. Well, Madison, mm. you're probably going to get a callback soon. But mm. at least you have a passion for what you want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Choose something you really like to. Um, I've given this advice in the past, but uh, if you don't know what you're good at, try stuff. Mm -hmm. Work at a coffee shop for a month or mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Work at a fast food restaurant for a month or two. Go to just a regular restaurant and work. Explore yourself. Yeah, explore different things. Tutoring is also a job. So if you're good at a subject, oh, you I can tutor. tutor. <laughs> <laughs> I would never tutor. <laughs> I've tutored before. Oh, man. I it can't. is an acquired skill. Oh. Tutoring is not easy. Yeah, right? You need really patience, a lot of patience. What kind of... Like, English? Is English. That? English. Oh. English tutor. My English is not good. <laughs> I cannot. Uh, kids can be difficult. I know. They but, keep like talking. But I want to experience like tutoring. You, you want, want to? to? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's you a good experience. To? No, it's good though. It's a good experience. Oh. You have to try it. It it's one of those things that. Eh, I mean, I loved tutoring, but it has to be the right people. Yeah. Mm. Like, uh, yeah, I I love kids, but I don't think I'd be able to be a good daycare. Center <laughs> teacher. <Yeah! laughs> I'd be like, "Oh, you're so cute." Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love kids, though. I really do. But mm -hmm. I can play with kids. I can, you know, uh, wrestle with them. I can let them, you know, beat me up. I can let them do everything. Oh. But yeah, it's an acquired. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe see. Even now, Kwon wants to start teaching too. So there we go. You never know. Your opportunities are opened. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I yeah. encourage you to come to Korea. Be very good. Overseas, yeah, come PR. and try it. Yeah, yeah, come and try it for a few months. You know, Welcome. sounds good. We're going to be looking at our Ask Anythings uh, in just a few moments. So if you have any more, continue to send those in. Uh, in the meantime, since we are speaking of very good, we're going to take a listen to their most recent track because of you. Yeah. <laughs> Such a sweet song. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we've got a lot of messages, and I don't know if we're going to have time to read all of them today, but we'll uh -oh. try. Um, Danae from the USA. I really enjoy seeing, but the thing is, I have horrible stage fright. <gasps> is there anything I can do to help get over my stage fright? Kuhn, are you nervous on stage? Um, when I was at, on my debut stage, it was really nervous, especially when I get trouble in microphone. Oh. <laughs> it was like I I I, I sang like la 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 la. la. Oh. With the mic off her lips. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had I had to sing and I had to dance and I had to find some cameras. Mm. Yeah. I, at the same time, so I was. I it's was, very how do you say chong Yeah, it's uh, just very confusing. Confusing. confusing yeah. Mm. It is, uh, especially if you're not used to. A mic. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, especially when I, um, going all back all those years, uh -huh. Alexander. <laughs> yes. 
Because it has been a while since you have debuted. Yeah. I still remember oh. when you guys were shooting your music video. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my gosh. My hair that time. <laughs> my grudgeful <laughs> hair. <laughs> then McDonald's. Mo- yeah, thing. anyways. Oh. Um, so, going back to your debut stage. Yes. Was it nerve-wracking? <laughs> we we almost cried. I mean, you kiss <laughs> our first stage was in Japan. Oh. Really, Atami. Atami's whatever event. And then we were so nervous. Tongo cried. Mangne, oh. he was like, yeah, back then he was like, uh, and he was crying. I, my heart was beating so fast, <laughs> so heavily, and it's like you don't know what you're doing on stage. See, there you go, Danae. Everybody goes through this. Yeah, mm. everyone goes through stage fright. Um, I think the more you do it, uh, the better it gets. Yeah. Um, I experienced ten months of being a nervous wreck. Because I promoted for 10 months. So my entire <laughs> my entire promotions, I was a nervous wreck. Literally. I would go on stage and be like, okay, don't forget the lyrics. Okay, I need to go left. I need to go right. I need to look at this camera. I need to look at this camera. And then I would come back on stage and be like, okay, what did I just do? I know, right? You don't remember. I was like, like oh. what did I just do? Uh, and that was it. And then my promotions were over. And mm. that was the last time I was a singer. <laughs> um, so uh, it gets better. Trust me. So I think uh, Danae maybe... It's experience. Yeah, it? practicing, you know, going out to talent shows. Um, maybe singing in front of family, friends. Mm-hmm. That'll yeah. help, maybe. Or try to have a partner at first, you know. Don't do solo first. Mm-hmm. When okay. you have somebody mm-hmm. next to you, it's more, you feel more secure, I yeah. guess. You know? uh. Yeah, go and do a competition with, like, a friend there. Yeah, yeah. and then afterwards be Beyonce. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, I think uh, for Tracy from Malaysia, this uh, ask anything is gonna actually be a good start for Kuan. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have Kuan answer this one. Since you want to try to tutor someone, yeah, I'm from Malaysia. I'm learning how to speak Korean. Is there any way I can strengthen my ability to pronounce Korean properly? Korean. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. When I learn about uh, learn some other languages, mm-hmm. I try to listen to the foreigners okay. conversation ah. and repeat and repeat ah, okay. okay repeat and repeat that's useful yeah. that's useful okay very useful oh i think she's gonna be a really nice tutor yeah <laughs> alexander what about you i know you speak a few languages yeah so when it comes to korean how have you tried to work on your pronunciation since you've been here i like 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 one suggested i try to listen how to how people pronounce it you know mm-hmm. How, how the pronunciation, intonation, I try to imitate them. Okay. Mm. But the thing like for Korean, try to follow Seoul, which is a standard Korean version because a lot of people, they have this, how do you say, saturi? Dialect. Mm. Dialect. So try to learn the correct one, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so don't re- watch like Reply 1997 or 1994 <laughs> Mano. <in> leg. <laughs> and use all the dialect there. Yeah. Um, for me, how I uh, mastered my Korean abilities was I had a lot of help from my acting teachers. Oh. Mm. I had a few acting teachers, but one of my teachers uh, actually was very detailed as mm-hmm. to what wasn't working. Ah, so they find a problem. Yeah, then. so if I said a few lines, they would be like, okay, I get it, but this and this and this and this is sounding weird. And mm. so I would constantly record myself and then listen. Did you have record. to bite chopsticks? I did. No, oh. I no, not chopsticks. I pen? I upgraded from a pen to the small yogurt bottles. Oh man! Oh. Yeah. So what happens? Like you, you bite it and you pronounce it. You yeah, know, right? it, for the Korean pronunciation, uh, Tracy, uh, it can all be done with a pen in your mouth. Mm-hmm. It's not like English. Not inside your mouth, but like <laughs> sideways. This way. If you have camera. Okay. I don't yeah, know if you guys see can see it. Oh. Horizontally in front of your... <laughs> yeah, bite it. My pen does not... Need <laughs> <laughs> drop it somewhere. <laughs> it's been in my bag for a while. Oh, uh, okay. Anyways. Oh, I'm, I don't want to bite my pen. Anyways, make sure it's a clean pen. Uh-huh. <laughs> bite a it sideways. <laughs> or chopsticks. Yeah. Uh, put it in as far as possible. And you can pronounce the Korean alphabet and it should help. Ka, na, ta, na, ba, pa, sa. Mm, it'll help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Madison is asking, if you guys were able to visit any countries for vacation, where would you go and why? Oh, there's too many. I know. Oh. I'm greedy. Yeah, I'm greedy. I want to go to Bali or Boracay. <gasps> I want to go beach. to Australia. Australia. Oh, Australia. Where? Where? Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I've been to 
You've been to? Yeah. Oh, oh, so you want to so go, go back. back? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, I want to backpack Europe again. Oh, uh, Europe. Europe. Like, uh, so not just one country. Europe. Europe. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> Europe. Oh, that's cool. Your money. I also Europe. want... I've never been to Europe. Me I want to go... Yeah. yeah, Europe would be a great... Backpacking Europe would be great. Backpacking mm. is fun. Okay. We have a few more minutes. I, I feel bad because there's so many questions today, but I, we don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. um, Zizi from Cambodia. Alexander, I have a question for you. Ow. This one's very hard. Okay. Current favorite K-pop song. <gasps> <laughs> wow. Uh, it's so hard. Uh, oh. oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can we go to Goon first? I'll, I'll come back to this answer Okay, Goon. What? Your, your favorite, favorite K-pop song? Uh, 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 K-pop song? Yeah. Um, I don't know. The last K-pop song I knew was like one year. It doesn't matter. Love Letter. Love Letter? Uh -huh. Okay. For me, the last song I liked was like, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, uh, call, call, call Me Baby. Call Me Baby. Yeah. Call Me Baby. Oh, call, that call, was, call. Okay, that was okay, recent. That was catchy, yeah. Okay, that mm. was recent. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, this is for only Alexander. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> from Tunisia. Uh -huh. We've got uh, Rehab from Tunisia asking, okay. I really need help for next week. It's my boyfriend's birthday and I want to give him something special. Wow. But I have no idea what to get him. Alexander, could you please help me? <laughs> tell me what kind of gift I can give to a guy to make him feel special. Uh, bring him to movies. Uh, <laughs> cook him something. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, really. What kind of gift would you think would be... Sweet and special. I think it's really hard to know because I usually I don't like how somebody give me something I don't like or I don't need. Uh -huh. So mm. the best thing is I think to do something together, like go somewhere together or have good memories. You know, stick a photo, go mm. for make a course. You know how guys always plan a course for girls. <clears throat> I think girls can do the same thing. Yeah, because don't buy anything that you are not sure whether your boyfriend will like it or not. Because he might like, oh, thank you. And inside his heart is like, oh, I don't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> that it's worse, you know. Oh. Uh, Okay. Yeah. So you would rather tell your girlfriend what you liked and what you wanted? Oh, no. That I can't say. You know? <laughs> I'm not that blunt. <laughs> I mean, go for a meal. Cook him a meal, maybe. Mm, yeah. that's Cooking. Cool. cool. And then what about you? Since you have such young hope. Hopeful. <laughs> hopeful. <laughs> what would you think would be a really romantic gift that you could gift to your significant other if you had one? Um, mm. I think the best present is a letter. Oh, oh. <laughs> a letter! Oh my gosh, I feel like we're like Maleficent. We're so, <sighs> we're so that old. <sighs> you know, she's so positive. Yeah, she's like Princess <laughs> okay, Aurora. Okay, a, a letter. <laughs> okay, a letter. Um, kind of adding to what Alexander says, uh, rehab for me. Um, if you know that, let's say your significant other has a favorite sports team. Or oh. if they have a hobby that yeah. they have that they really, really like, mm -hmm. get them something related yeah. to that. Mm. Or, he have, or if he likes any girl group, you yeah. can dance the girl group dance for oh, him. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, that might be difficult. I'm just saying. I don't think I'd ever do that. <laughs> I don't think, Alexander, I, would I, don't do think that I would too. ever do that. <laughs> cool, would you ever dance for your boyfriend? Um, a little bit. Oh! <laughs> So sweet. <gasps> so, so sweet. Oh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I'm glad that we have Kuhn on board. If not, we would sound like old fogies. <laughs> yeah, negative. The whole show would be negative. We'd be negative all day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that she's here. Okay, so like our listeners uh, sent in, uh, this is all you need to do for our Ask Anything, is send in stuff, title it Ask Anything. Uh, I remember that one of our listeners, Terrence, I think, uh, sent in an Ask Anything a couple days ago for me. Um, about do I want to be back on stage singing again? Um, yes. No. Yeah. No. <gasps> Not as a singer, more maybe as like a musical actress mm. or oh, really? acting, <gasps> but not like single, put out a album, sit in the waiting rooms and dressing rooms for 12 hours not a day just oh. for a three minute song. Oh, so I don't musical. Think I, musical. Oh. Maybe musicals you. and stuff. Why not? I might guess maybe Alexander and I can do something. <laughs> Romeo and Julia? <laughs> wow! Cohen's <Wow. laughs> super excited about that. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we're over time, so let's take a listen to our last track. Uh, Monster X is singing with Anjimi. Uh, trespass, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye. Bye.